A certain type of light bulb has an average life of 500 meters and a standard deviation of 100 or meters. Average life of 500 hours and a standard deviation of 100 hours. Uh, the length of the light bulb can be closely approximated by a normal curve. An amusement park buys and installs 10,000 of these bulbs. Find the total number of bulbs that can be expected to last during a given period of time. So for each individual bulb, we're saying the mean is 500 hours and a standard deviation of 100. We're trying to find out um, an amusement park buys and installs 10,000 such bulbs and we're trying to figure out what's the prob the number of bulbs that will that we can expect to last at least 500 hours. Well, each individual bulb, there's a 50% chance that it lasts at least 500 hours. Um, this is the mean. I mean, I could do a nor whole normal CDF here, but we're, we're exactly above the mean, so I'm not going to bother. Um, this area right here is 0.5. So each individual bulb, there's a 50% chance that it lasts above 500 hours, and we are buying 10,000 such bulbs. Um, I'm actually going to... I, I'm making a little bit of an assumption on this problem, and we kind of have to. Um, we're going to assume that these are um, independent. Uh, the, the probability of one bulb failing is not dependent. It's not influenced on another bulb failing. And that actually might not be the best assumption to make, because usually when bulbs fail, uh, the filaments burn out when there's a little surge in the power. And usually if one bulb fails, that means it's more likely that another bulb is going to fail at the same time. So it's probably not a very good assumption here that we're, we're saying that the, the probability, um, each of these are independent, but whatever, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so the probability of each bulb lasting more than 500 hours is 0.5. If I'm claiming this is binomial by saying that they're all independent, we can just do n times p. The expected number of bulbs is n times p. Um, so 0.5 times 10,000, which is 5,000. We would expect 5,000 bulbs to still um, to still be good. All right, we can do a similar sort of thing uh, for figuring out what's the probability that they burn out between um, 680 and 780 hours. So 680 and 780 hours. Um, I'm just using this scale up here to kind of judge where I'm at. Um, 680 to 780. Uh, I can do the same sort of thing here. I can say, well, the probability they burn out, the, the probability any given bulb burns out during that time. Um, I'm going to use normal CDF. My lower bound is 680. My upper bound is 780. My mean is 500. My standard deviation is 100. We get 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.0334. This was normal CDF. 680, 780, 500, 100. So 680 and 780, those are the lower and the upper bounds. 500 is the mean, 100 is the standard deviation. I just got those from up there. Um, so again, to find the expected value, the number that will burn out during this period, this is going to be n times p. We're going to do 10,000 times 0 0.0334, which is 334. We would expect 334 bulbs to burn out. The probability that uh, the, the number of bulbs that we expect to last more than 440 hours. It's a very similar sort of problem. Uh, we're saying more than 440 hours, so we're going to... 440 is somewhere over here, a little bit to the left of the mean. And if we're saying we want the probability that each bulb lasts more than that, then we're shading to the right, so we're going to do normal CDF. The lower bound is 440, because that's the, the lower bound of my area that's shaded here. My upper bound is 10 to the 99th. My mean is 500, and my standard deviation is 100. Yeah, whatever, I'll just type it in. All 
and we get this is approximately 0 0.7257. So the expect the number we would expect to last this much n times p is 10,000 times 0.7257. We would expect 72 uh, 7,257 bulbs to last more than 440 hours. All right, if I wanted to find the shortest and the longest lengths of the middle 60% of the bulbs, this is a little bit of a, a little bit stranger way of thinking about it. I'm, I have uh, lower and upper cutoffs that I'm trying to find off, so the, trying to find here, the shortest and the longest lengths of life. Um, and I'm saying there's middle 60% here. So inside here, there's 60% of the area. And I'm trying to find out what these cutoffs are, Z lower and Z upper. It's an L and a U in case you can't tell. Um, so to find these, if I want this to be the middle, uh, the middle of these bulbs, well, if this is 60%, that means there must be 40% split between the two tails. And if 40% is split between the two tails and this is symmetric, that means 40% divided by 2. There must be 20% over here. Let me write that the same way. This is 0.2 up here or on this tail, and this is 0.2 over on this tail. So the reason I need this is because now I can use inverse norm. And I can figure out what is the area to the left of this cutoff. Well, there's 20% of the area to the left of that cutoff. So I'll do point two, or inverse norm with a 0 0.2, 500, and 100 for the lower cutoff. And I'll do inverse norm for the upper cutoff. I'll do 80% of the area. Uh, there's 20% to the right, or so I could use the complement rule, or 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 is 0 0.8 for the upper. So those are going to be my cutoffs, my lower and my the shortest and longest lengths for the middle 60% of the bulbs. So if I want to say 60% of the bulbs last between these values, this is what I would do. Oops, I want inverse norm. So I'll go... 0.2, 500, 100. That's 415, I'll call it 416 hours. And then if I want to do the upper cutoff, this one instead of being a 0.2 will be a 0.8. We get 584. So the middle 60% of the bulbs last between 416 and 584 hours.